Hey, this is Mad Hatter, and today I'm going to talk to you about the latest on Structura Lab. It is going pretty strong, but I've added a couple new features that may have interested some of you. I've seen them in the comments, I've seen them in Discord, and I just want to make sure that everybody on YouTube knows what's going on. I have made community posts on this, but those don't always get seen, so let's do a quick video and show you what's up. First of all, if you don't know what Structura is, here's a crash course. If you know what Lightmatica is, it is the build templating, meaning the see the blocks in the world equivalent that we have on Bedrock. No, it doesn't do block placing. No, it never will do block placing. I hate that. I think it's stupid and it's never going to come to Structura. If you want to make it, you go ahead and make it. Just play in creative. I don't really care. Anyway, if you want to know how to structure a works. If you know how to install a resource pack, you know how to install a structure pack. You can get some example packs on structuralab.com. What is structuralab.com? It is a hosting site that I wrote that hosts many, many, many structure files. Let's grab one just to show you what I mean. This is my 80,000 kelp per hour farm. You got to destroy it. You got a description here, you got some likes, you got your material list, and you've got both a .mc structure and an MC pack download. The MC structure, that is allows you to import it into creative and you can kind of see what's going on. The MC pack, let's download that one. And then I'm going to install it the way I install it, by clicking. And now it's installed. I save and quit. I'm just gonna attach this world because I'm being very lazy. And we're logging back into the world to see what this amazing pack does. I grab an armor stand. I put it on the ground and look, there is the 80,000 kelp per hour kelp farm from bone meal or from bone blocks. Yep, that is what it looks like. And you can go through by shift clicking on the blocks and go layer by layer up. There's also some really cool circuits people have put together to allow you to pose it with a trident remotely but yes this is structura this is a structura pack and structura lab is a place you can find really cool packs if you're in the market for them now if you want to post and share let's get into how to do that next so first off you're gonna to have to make a structura lab account why because I don't want to pay for somebody else's website that rips off Structura and doesn't want to host their own service. So I require logins so that way I know that you are on Structura Lab. So after you log in, it's pretty simple. You push the upload button. And for my convenience, I am doing a tutorial right now and I'm going to actually do a Structura Lab entry for that tutorial. So in my folder that I keep all of my magical structures, I have a shulk, a, a dyed shulker crafter.mc structure. Now, if you wanted to make name tag structures, meaning you can have multiple uh, armor stands with multiple different things, and you'd select which thing you want to see, you would add more than one file. Now I hit submit. This is where some of the new stuff comes in. I actually tell you that it's doing things and give you some information and now we redirect it and you can see name not set no image none of that sort of stuff this is where i have to tell you something if you post an image that is just a junk image it annoys the crap out of me so i de-promote your post into the ground don't post your profile picture don't post a random picture of your cat don't post a random picture of your keyboard i will make it so that nobody will ever see your post ever again that's how i deal with that now if I want to edit this, which I probably do, I hit edit and then I can change the name. This is a dyed shulker crafter. I'm going to give it a thumbnail. I already took one. It's just a picture of the thing from the structure block. Really easy. I'm going to put this in storage tech and I'm going to put a description. Okay, now I can click this show publicly box if I want other people to be able to find it or I can leave it unchecked and it won't be searchable. I hit submit, give it a second. And now I have my post. Look it, it has all those things that I had promised. I, it has the description, it has the name, it has the image and it's looking pretty decent. And if I go home, give it a second to load 
you could see this dyed shulker crafter shows up pretty near the top. Now, what do I mean by de-promote things into the ground? I'm going to actually, I don't like that people do this. So I'm going to use this person as an example. Sorry if this is your account, but you're getting de-promoted. I go in the back end. So this is their post. On the back end, this is what the post looks like. And I go through and I add an attribute. The attribute is a hatter penalty attribute and you get a rank deranking. And I save and close. Now, when I go home, give it a second to refresh. Look at that post is gone and I'm going to magically do it to this other one too. And now magically I don't look at profile pictures instead of posts anymore because I hate looking at profile pictures instead of posts. Anyway, that is how you get that started. Now, one other thing that I've added very recently is likes. If you give it a second for the post to fully load, you could see there is a little hat here and it says zero likes. That makes sense because I, I just made this page. Nobody's liked it yet. If I hit the button, now I've got a colored in hat and it says one like. If you like the post, it pushes it up the promotion process. Now, if you see, these both have two, uh, both have one like. I know because I like this one earlier to force it a little bit higher. And then this one now is newer and it was, it has an equal number of likes. So it shows up higher in the list. Okay. What other things exist on Structure Lab? Now that we have likes, well, we have searches. So if I go to Shulker Crafter and hit search, you can see there's some redstone contraptions and some other things that you can find. This is powered by Google. I don't have a ton of control over how this works, but it it does work to some extent. Now, also, if you didn't see, there is the model to Minecraft. You have to also be logged in for this one to work. And if you, you can search for a STL file, which is a 3D printer file, and you can create a structure that will then be loadable into the world. These are deleted, deleted after 24 hours, so it is just a way for you to make something real quick. There is another video on that if you are interested. Now look at all of these beautiful builds. And if I go to buildings and categories, you will see a lot of things that you might recognize, like the post for this video, hot air balloon from another one. There's a whole pile of these big, beautiful builds that I am shamelessly borrowing for my videos and promoting them as I do it. There are redstone flying machines. There are farms. There are all sorts of cool things on this, and it only gets cooler every time one of you posts something. So if you want to help me out, do three things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and go post something on Structural Lab. I don't care if you don't think you're the best builder or farm maker or whatever, go build something, post it and let me see it. And I will be happy to see people using it. So you put a lot of work into something, people use it. You love to see it. Anyway, this is Matt Hatter and I'm out. Bye.